So we are going to have Patty identify some of the fossils we brought in. Well, you probably know all of these. Already. Probably. Those um, look like crinoid, crinoid imprints. Cr crinoid stem. Imprint? Yeah. Yep. Are these are crinoids, another, really? Yep, yep. Those are crinoids. Oh. Yeah. And there's one right here. This is, this is all reef material, right? Yep. yep. Here, right in here. Yep, that again is another crinoid. crinoid. <laughs> they're everywhere. Almost yeah. everything I have is quite yeah. nice. Oh yeah, but they're so cool. What is they, that? I mean, that's another crinoid also, stem. Also tiny crinoid. little crinoid stem. Yeah. Um, a lot of times you don't you don't even you don't get them nicely stacked up like this. Oh. They get when it dies. They get. They fall over and they, the yeah, discs like, come apart and you see there's just the flat discs right. like you can have a oh here here right here. Yeah. It's just full of those little round. They look like perfectly round beads, mm -hmm. but they're crinoids. Um, and these, these ones I found right by, what do you call that, Soldier's Home Reef? Oh, sure. By the Milwaukee um, Miller oh, Park. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's pretty good, because usually you don't, I mean, you know, we do not find to, many um, uh, fossils this large near there. Usually you don't? Yeah, usually you don't. I mean, because, I don't know, they just, they seem very... Uh, well, I guess it's covered by vegetation. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, no, no. These ones I did not find in the in in, in, in the reef itself. It was in a parking lot. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense then, because these are probably. But that's okay. I mean, it's still the same aged material. But, okay. But again, so, these are. This is all. This is the, those kind of. These are and, and the gray ones are all Devonian, right? Well, if you can get, it, you have to get them out of. Stratigraphically, because right, you can't true. really tell. I mean, from these fossils, you can't tell what age it is. I see. And you know, in the slurry, you still did get did get some mudstones and oh, things in there. Oh, you know. I, I see. Just not big chunks of it, you know. Right. So what is that? That is it. Also a crinoid stem that is. No, I, well, it could be, but it looks like it might be the a edge of a, of a. Hmm. <laughs> There's not enough there to tell us, is there? I just thought it's interesting. Yeah. It could be, it could be the edge of a, you know, one edge of a uh, brachiopod too. I'm oh, just not sure. I see, I see. Just because of the way it looks kind of ridged, but I'm not sure. That one's just not, there's not quite enough there to tell us. Mm -hmm. And then of course we got, oh, this is very This is a, a famous side coral. Yes. Right? Yes, that's a, and they're nice though. You get it didn't it didn't get so tumbled that it. This is from the same area. Okay. These are all from the same area. Yeah. You can see you get a little chert form in there too. Oh. Okay. Yep. Same thing. What is this? This is, is it, another coral. Yeah. Um. As in, like, it's not vivocyte, so I have no idea what that is exactly. What do you know? What type uh, of coral it is? No, I couldn't tell you. Mm. Other than coral, mm. just uh, I mean, it's just too replaced by True. you know, so you don't get enough of the structure to tell. Do you, do you know if this is Silurian or Devonian? I don't. This, these are Silurian for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. This this is not on the same site. Okay. Um. This is from, um, well, mm -hmm. it's the worst place to find stratified fossils, but mm -hmm. it's Big Bay. Uh, part oh, sure, where sure. A ton okay. of tumble rocks are. I would guess it's Silurian, just because Silurian. Um, unless it was transported up there, you don't get a whole lot of Devonian uh, stuff up there. Yeah, because you don't have a lot of... Because that whole, um, that whole Door County Peninsula mm -hmm. is all... Um, just an arm of the Silurian bedrock, uh -huh. you know, it's tilting. Big yeah, Bay Door County. Yeah, Bay. Right. This whole, this whole peninsula, all this it's is Silurian. Is Silurian. Mm -hmm. and so you, you know, this is being pretty generous as saying this, there's any exposure of Devonian. Yeah. Do you know why the, this is the only place where we have, we have Devonian? I read about it, but I can't remember exactly why. Um, well, it, if you could go under Lake Michigan, there'd uh -huh. be more. It's right. just that it's we don't have access to it. I see. So, and we don't know if it's been, you know, if, we don't know. By glaciers? Yeah, we don't know if it's been scraped to the Silurian by glaciers or if. Um, oh, I see. We, we don't know exactly why that's all that's left of the Devonian, but 
That's and it's actually one of the few Devonian sites in the U.S. Right, that's what I'm told. There are not many. Well, well, Iowa has some. Iowa has some. Yeah, good, some, them. some Devonian sites, but other, yeah, not there aren't a lot. Not yes. like the Silurian or the Ordovician. You can go, you know, you can see it here, and you can go to Nevada and mm -hmm. see, you know, the equivalent there. there well. but I see. Not so with Devonian. So. I see. Okay, so you, you got a whole bunch of the of, same. Of the same. Um, the, these are here. these are all from the North Shore. Okay. Now, see, this is why I was thinking it might be something like that, which is a bracket. Part. Right. These, this one I found in Lotosa by 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 the river. Mm -hmm. These yeah. two actually. Well, tiny. yeah, there are some good um, good sites in Lotosa. Mm -hmm. um, and these are tiny, tiny primate stems. Yep. Do you know what those are? The wedge-shaped ones. Mm. They look like tiny cephalopods. Um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I sh uh, can, can you tell the color, as, as in the age, by the color of the rocks now? No, not really. Not really. I mean, you, you sort of can, mm -hmm. but like if you just found them on a beach, they you don't be, know for sure. They could be anywhere. Yeah. So, like, you get kind of um, things that are typically look like they're Silurian, and if you find them, you know, next to a Silurian outcrop, I you see. kind of jump to the conclusion that oh. that's what they are. But just by color, can you tell um, what? what age it is? It's, uh, that's not, it's not reliable. Not reliable. It's not scientific yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but if it's in a, you know, if you're, in, if you're hiking and you're, you know, trooping across you know, Devonian bedrock. Mm -hmm. Proven Devonian bedrock. Yeah. Then. then, you know, the, the jump to, oh, this must be Devonian. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, Could you uh, guess these two? Guess these that? two, uh, let's see. Well, and, yeah. mm -hmm. I would say they're, they, they could be Devonian. Hmm. Um, do you happen to know what those are? These. See, that's the that's the edge of a brachio. That's a the edge of a brachiopod shell. So you're getting oh, I it, see. So you're getting the just the tip of it is kind of peeping through the. Uh, I see. So that's the, a brachiopod. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah I see. That so makes like sense. if you. Uh, that makes sense. Like yeah. sideways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, the more crinoid stems. The more crinoid stems. Probably from the same. It's, yeah. it's all from the same yeah. area. Now now that is a Devonian one. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, though you you've got the sulcus here that's kind of going on. So put us in the. Mm -hmm. And let me get a view of the chart. I would say we are in the strophomenids here. These guys here. Oh, and this is just a bigger one. Yeah. Strophomenids. Oh, Middle Cambrian? Mid Middle Cambrian? No, but but they exist. Oh, that old. is the oldest, but from oh, but the ones from around here are Devonian. I see. And this is probably a spiriferid. Yep, yep. Spiriferid. You get the classic, you know, that, that you can see that bump. The, the bump, and they would they would hold themselves open. Mm -hmm. um, brachiopods, though they look a lot like clams, actually had a different kind of body. Um, Ecologic niche. They they had these arms that they called they were called mophophores, mm -hmm. and they were inside the shell, and they had little kind of like crinoids. They had little filamentous mm -hmm. stuff, and they would suck water through and then filter the water out. Oh, through instead the, of the, clams, that yeah, dig it. yeah, exactly. I see. So they were actually filter feeders, even though they had they have a body that looks a lot like a clam. I see. And, and, and these is just tumble, or else it would, yeah, it's it would been, have a spiked end. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All oh, those are Devonian, um, a lot of bryozoans in them. Let's see if you can I, pull my, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, my eyesight isn't quite, yeah. quite what it used to be, but yeah, those are nice bryozoans. <laughs> I, They're I, always look, they look really I, cool I, under the microscope. Yeah, I know the name, but I cannot remember what um, those are right now. And <gasps> That's a beautiful color. Yeah. That one, that one, I found it covered by what do you call it, the mud, mud, mudstone. Mudstone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I basically went home. I took a knife and I mm -hmm. 
patch that yeah, what do you call, yeah. what do you call it? Uh, cleaned it up, cleaned mostly, it out, with, yeah. a, with, with a, with like a wire brush or? No, with no. a, with a, um, with a knife and a needle. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> to, to okay, To get yeah, yeah. the minute structures in there. Um, and it's had a little bit of replacement because you can see it's, it wants to, it catches the light and that's, it's being, the, the shell was getting replaced this by one, calcite. This one? I mean yeah. this one? Yeah. yeah. Like on the edge, if you look and you tip it, you can see how it reflects. It reflects. Oh, so, so it's made of calcite. Yeah. Oh, which is why it's so tough. Yeah. Because I like dug mm -hmm. it with a. Do you, do you have an idea what this thing at the edge is? Because I tried digging around it to find out what it is, but I.